Thank you, everyone. You know, I wrote that song in celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Marathon of Hope for a great Terry Fox. Also in loving memory, also in loving memory of the incredible Gord Downey. You know, tragically ill. You know, it's interesting, those two gentlemen in particular, I found it interesting that they used their last kind of mile of the journey to uplift others and do as much as they could for somebody else. You know, it's a very noble thing to do in your final hours. And Terry believed very much in trying to solve what feels like an endless problem and gave his young life, only 22 years old, pretty incredible, and an old soul who took it upon himself to look after others. And Gord Downey, you know, a rock star, a bona fide Canadian legend, he used the final mile of his journey to uplift the First Nations people, to look them, take care of them, and put spotlight on them. Whoa. Whoa. So I tell you something, my friends, 
it is a true honor to be here and celebrating and song, sharing my songs with you all. And, but for every one of me, I assure you that there are a lot of my brothers and sisters, relatives, all my relations that really could use the hand and uplifting of others around them. And that's the responsibility that comes with any power, any true privilege in life is use it. Use it in terms of generosity and looking out for those that need it, lifting up the vulnerable. That's the First Nations community. So the old timers in my community, they have this saying, you can sit in the garage all you want and it'll never turn you into a car. <laughs> And that's the <laughs> that's the same principle behind being a good person, you know. It really counts on the Monday to Saturday what we're doing. Sunday. And, well, we're good. You go ahead and sit down. And I trust you're all good people because you're all standing here and you're listening so beautifully. And I appreciate each and every one of you here, Vancouver Island. Thank you so much. Okay.